Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing what I suspect will be a very short and sweet tag because there are only six questions. This is the a new kind of summer tag, and I guess the theme here is, you know, can't really travel because of uh, coronavirus and whatnot. I've actually lost the link here. I was tagged to do this by Kaz from Cats and Camera, and we are going to find out here together who the original creator was. Because Welcome I've... back to Book Break. We're here today ah, with sweet. brand new... So the original creator was Book Break, uh, which is run at the moment by Emma from Drinking By My Shelf. So I'll link to both of these videos below. As I say, there are six questions here, so I'm going to answer these questions and then I'll tag a few people at the end. So question one, start by recommending a book from the country you're in now, as close as you can find to the place you are. So I'm going to recommend Strange Days in High Wycombe by Ollie Jacobs. He's an indie author. Um, he no longer lives in High Wycombe, but he used to live in High Wycombe. And obviously, as you can guess from the title, that is where the book is set. And that is where I live. And it's basically, um, you know, him getting drunk and going around all the different pubs in town. It's actually probably going to be quite moving to reread now because half of them, you know, have closed down since. And also it's post COVID now. So interesting little read but yeah if you want to get a feel for what high wickham's like it's not a bad uh, not a bad place to start question number two recommend a book from a different county or area of the country well i guess i've gone slightly off with this because i've gone with his bloody project by graham mccray burnett it's actually based in scotland but it's a different part of the united kingdom uh, and great britain so maybe we'll get away with that and uh, it's just really interesting because it's like historical, f non f well, yeah, historical fiction, but with like a non-fiction vibe because it's like the proceedings of um, a trial in uh, Scotland. I would definitely recommend reading it. It's one of the best books um, I've read over the last few years, really. Question number three, recommend a book that reminds you of summers when you were young. Well, I, when I was young, I used to read a lot of Goosebumps books, especially in the summer. So I'm going for Welcome to Camp Nightmare by R.L. Stein. Um, which is a Goosebumps book, but it's also set in American uh, summer camp. We don't really have summer camps over here in the UK. We have something called Play Scheme, where um, like parents drop their kids off and whatnot, but we don't really have like full-blown full blown summer camps. But um, yeah, I don't know why. Just Question number four, recommend a book from a country you visited before. So we're going for Soviet Milk by Nora Ekstainer. Uh, this is some Latvian literature. There's a full review of this on my channel, so I guess I'll link to that below. And um, yeah, I visited Latvia to learn more about Latvian literature. So it just seems appropriate that I should choose a piece of Latvian literature for this question, you know? Question number five, recommend a book from a country you'd like to visit next. So I'm going for On the Road by Jack Kerouac because I've never been to the United States and I would like to go at some point. Possibly not while Trump is president and there's a global pandemic on. So, so we might have to push that back for 10 years or so. But um, yeah, one day I would like to visit the States. And question number six, recommend a book from the furthest away place you can find. So The Thorn Birds by Colleen McCulloch. And uh, I'm going for that because there's a character in it called Dane. Um, so I'm partly named after this character and also partly named after Dane of the Iron Hills from The Hobbit. Um, but yeah, I, I looked it up and I thought it was Australia actually, but it's set in New Zealand, which is even better because I know the furthest major city from London is the city of Dunedin in New Zealand. And I know this because I had an ex-girlfriend whose parents moved away to Dunedin. <laughs> and obviously she went with them because, you know, we were teenagers at the time. And uh, yeah, you can't really, can't really keep a long distance relationship going with somebody who's literally in the furthest major city from your own capital city or whatever. But yeah, Thornbirds, I will read that soon. And that is it for this tag. As I say, there are only the six questions. So um, my tradition of how to tag people who I would like to take this, I'm doing it now. I go into my channel comments and pick out some recent uh, booktubers who have, who have commented. So we're gonna do that now. So I'm gonna tag Mindy's book journey. I'm gonna tag, I ain't finna read that. I don't know if uh, he does tags because I've only recently sort of subscribed to his channel. Was it a tag I watched recently? I don't remember. I was watching some of his content recently and it was great anyway. Uh, Charlie Heathcote, of course. I will tag Graham Sillers over at Graham Sillers Reads Books. Emma Rose and Books, if she fancies doing it. Native Lady Book Warrior. Todd the Librarian, of course. Uh, I'll do two more. Jason's Weird Reads. And uh, Joel Swagman. So there you have it, that's my take on the A New Kind of Summer Tag. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. 
Hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.